What's up, everybody? This is Justin Flinter coming to you live from Northern Virginia with the Justin Flinter Podcast by My Mentor Medicine. What's up, podcast listeners? I just wanted to let you know in advance that the sound quality on this podcast is not that great, but the message in this podcast is the one thing that you should be listening to. Forget about the background noise. So I was driving in my car on my way to the clinic, and I just had a thought, had to get it out of my head, because I thought it would be valuable for you guys. So within this podcast, you'll get to learn a little bit about what you need to do, what you need to question into if you are at the point in your uh, career development or clinic development where you want to move from part-time to full-time, or vice versa, you want to move from full-time to part-time. It's a difficult decision for any acupuncturist to make, and I hope that uh, this podcast will shed some light on it for you. So enjoy this week's podcast, and I'll talk to you next time. So this is the message to all of the acupuncturists out there who are trying to figure out a way that they can you know, fit in their schedule that they should be doing this full time, that they want to start their business, they want to start their clinic, and they want to be treating patients every day of the week as much as possible so that they can make as much money as possible. Well, let me tell you something. that I've been running my business now for uh, about seven years. Seven years, and it's been part-time, like really part-time. I've been doing it one to two days a week, maybe three max, but if you add it up the hours, it's really only about one day a week, eight hours. Because my Saturdays, that's my main day. Saturday, I'm there from about 7 a.m. or 8 a.m. until about 12 p.m. or 1 p.m., give or take. So it's only a few hours of my time, and one of those hours is me teaching a Tai Chi class. So am I actually devoting an entire day on my Saturday to treat patients? I am not. Some of you out there may think that, well, he maybe he doesn't have what it takes. Maybe he never really, you know, bit the bullet and then decided to go full time so that he could have a full fledged clinic. Well, you know what? I'm saving a lot of money in terms of not paying for a lease that is renting uh, a very large space with multiple. Uh, on days of the week when for a lot of the time I'm not even there. I'm only paying for exactly the time that I'm there. I'm not paying for an entire week. So I get to pick and choose how I want to use those specific hours. And for those of you who are trying to fight for more time, for more space, just realize the financial commitment that that requires. And that's a good thing for some of you. And for some of you, maybe you have a job right now. Maybe you're trying to figure out how to transition from one space to another. And this brings me to another point. The point that all of the other hours of the week are not just a waste of time because you're not with patients. It's a waste of time because you're not using the time properly. What are you doing to develop your clinic if you want it to be full time? If you want to be working 40, 45, 50, 60 hours a week seeing patients, are you in the process of developing that? Or are you just trying to get enough money in your pocket so that you can open up the space to have that availability? Do you really need that? Is that something that you're you trying to fill in a gap in your life that hasn't been filled by something else? I, I mean, there's a lot of reasons as to why people want a full-time clinic. I think now in today's day and age, we're transitioning out of that because of the flexibility with uh, the use of technology, these uh, temporary workspaces that are available that you only go for, say, a couple hours a week. Uh, These entrepreneurs are doing that to try to build up startup companies, startup businesses. You gotta start with something. So let's take advantage of all these different opportunities that exist. And don't be afraid of uh, trying to look into the ethical portion of some of these things like for example should you be going to these temporary workspaces for say two or three hours and using them as an acupuncture space I mean why not look into that just we work places etc so 
again, coming back to the idea of all these hours during the week that could be potentially wasted, why not look into using those hours as a way to amp up your website? Why not use those hours as recording a podcast like I'm doing here right now? I'm using every hour uh, that I am not in my clinic, that I am not at my job, that I am not teaching, that I am not supervising students at the school, and of course, not spending time with my family. But when I'm not doing all of those things, how am I using this extra time, which I don't have much in terms of it being classified as extra, like some of you do. I'm not sitting down every single night tuning into my favorite TV show or, or doing anything else that might be considered ridiculous to a lot of people who are really actually hustling. Are you using your time efficiently? Are you using it wisely? Are you doing it for business development? Are you using your time in that way? So again, website, social media, podcast, interviews, examining what other companies are doing online, trying to figure out what you can do that is different from them, or rather than focusing on other people, just focusing on yourself, like I'm doing in this moment, not to say that I'm conceited, what I am doing is I am in it to create a message, to create information, uh, so that other people can feed off of that and figure out what it is that they actually need, that they can be doing. So if you are in this battle between part-time and full-time, and trying to create your business, you just get rid of that. Kill that opponent and say, you know what, to heck with it. I mean, it's always gonna be part-time. If you were doing it full-time, you'd be doing it 168 hours of the week, which is the entire freaking week. But forget about that. Just do as much as you can and figure out the remainder of the time what it is that you could actually be doing. Be resourceful with everything you have. Be resourceful with the, the treatment space that you have leased for just a very short amount of time during the week versus a large amount of time during the week. Don't fight with yourself because other people are treating more patients than you. That's something I battled with early on in my development, my clinic. And I always told myself, well, I, I just uh, I just need to open up, get a few more hours uh, so that I can bring some more people in. Yeah, sure, that's one way to create revenue, of course, and that's important. However, you can still reach the people, you can still reach the public, your target population, and, and you can do that in multiple ways. There's nothing stopping you from doing that. So end this fight inside of yourself that is saying that you need to be full-time, you need to have your own space, you need to, I mean, everything online, your website, your social media, that is your space. Your clinic is just the physical space where people can come and receive treatment from you. But they can receive treatment from you when they're not even with you. And this is how it can be done. So again, I urge you to really consider whether you do need that physical space, do you need that, uh, that office space that eventually you're gonna have to pay a ton of money for, insurance, etc., or can you just transition into that over time while at this point in time, you focus on other things that are important in the development of your business. So that's a quick, quick message for today. Uh, I hope it serves you guys, and I really wish you all the best, and good luck in the development of your own clinics. So take it easy, have a good one. Talk to you guys next time. This podcast is brought to you by My Mentor Medicine, an organization that is dedicated to helping people improve their lives by learning to empower themselves and take control of their own life. Any form of reproduction or distribution of this podcast is strictly prohibited. Should you have any questions on using this podcast or information that is contained within this podcast, please write to info at mymetromedicine.com.